Today, I will discuss about volumetric strain and Poisson's ratio. So, welcome to my YouTube channel, Mechanical Engineering Management. So, in the last session, we have discussed the brief introduction about the volumetric strain. So, here we are going to study in a little bit detail about volumetric strain. So, let's start with the volumetric strain. This is the very good figure to understand the concept of volumetric strain. Here, this dotted black color that is actually the original volume of the body and this brown color is actually final volume of the body. The ratio of the change in volume to the original volume under normal loading condition is known as volumetric strain. So here, the change in volume is delta V because of this is your initial volume and this is the final volume. So change in volume due to this normal loading is delta V. So we can say according to this definition, the volumetric strain that is the ratio of the change in volume to the original volume. So you can say volumetric strain is equal to change in volume to original volume. Next, due to this application of the external loading, if the volume of an elastic body is changed without changing its shape, that is very important term, the strain is called as volumetric strain. So in case of volumetric strain, the shape should not be deformed under the loading condition. It is measured by the unit change of volume. So very simple, unit change of volume that means change in volume to the original volume. So mathematically you can say epsilon v is equal to delta v upon v where delta v is a change in volume, v is the original volume and epsilon v is the volumetric strain. Now next one, volumetric strain and Poisson's ratio. Now if you consider this body which is subjected to unidirectional force only. So when a body is subjected to external force as shown in figure, volume will change definitely due to this application of force. So here you can say the epsilon L that means the strain in L. So that is called as the linear strain due to this application of force F. So you can say epsilon L is the linear strain and that is equal to change in length upon original length. And perpendicular to this loading condition, if the parameter is changed, then it is considered as lateral strain. So you can say the change in width that is considered as lateral strain and that is equal to delta V upon V because of width which is perpendicular to this direction of force. That's why it is lateral strain. Similarly, change in edge that is once again perpendicular to this direction of loading. That's why it is called as the lateral strain. So I can say epsilon h is equal to delta h upon h. So very simple if you consider this as x direction, then you can say this is epsilon x. This is y direction, so you can say this is epsilon y. And this is z direction so you can see it is epsilon z where the force is applied in x direction that's why epsilon x is considered as linear strain and the remaining are considered as lateral strain and you know that lateral strain upon linear strain that is equal to nu that is actually Poisson ratio so you can say lateral strain is equal to nu into linear strain so here very important term is nu. So nu is the Greek letter and that is called as the Poisson ratio. And that is exactly equal to the lateral strain upon linear strain. So you can say nu into linear strain that is equal to lateral strain. So here you can see nu into linear strain that is equal to lateral strain. And that is always less than 1 because of from this figure also you can understand if you apply the force in this direction then definitely your linear strain will more than the lateral strain. 
Similarly, here you can say nu into epsilon l, that is lateral strain. Now, as you know that volumetric strain that is equal to change in volume upon original volume. So, I can say that is exactly equal to strain in x direction, strain in y direction and strain in z direction. So, you can say epsilon l as it is, that is actually linear strain plus this is lateral strain and lateral strain is equal to nu into epsilon l. So, I can say it is nu into epsilon l. But here you can understand due to this force F, the length will increase whereas width and depth will decrease. That's why it is minus. Similarly, over here it is also minus mu into epsilon L. So keep in mind here force is applied in this direction. So you can understand length will increase whereas width and depth will decrease. That's why it is minus. At last you can say epsilon l will be common so you can say 1 minus nu minus nu that means 1 minus 2 nu so this is actually the relation between volumetric strain and poison ratio nu thanks my dear friend for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it